Hello everyone and welcome and oh boy how it was this last scenario. I probably will uh cut the tries that I had because there were many tries but man that scenario was another kind of challenge. Today we'll play the second scenario. Uh scenario number two, the many kings of Macedon from Pihus of Epirus. And in this scenario there is also an achievement, and we must win before Demetrius arrives. So it's basically to defeat the enemies before our ally arrives. Uh, our last ally, actually, he was alive last scenario, but let's see if you keep our ally for his scenario as well. Let's go, it seems to be very fun. Ooh. The scenario, uh, the scenario uses the map lightning graphical effect and it's best play with this option enable. Would you like to enable this option? The setting may impact performance. Okay. For most people, war is like a bad marriage. An unending affair of strife, bitterness, and glimmering moments of joy that serve only to prolong the suffering. But for Pyrrhus, fighting came as naturally as breathing. Following a war between Demetrius and the king of Egypt, Pyrrhus was sent to the desert kingdom as a hostage. Here, his luck finally returned. His many war stories made an impression on the Egyptian king, as did his ability to laugh off any insult thrown at him. With such a capable friend in his court, the king sensed an opportunity. He equipped Pyrrhus with a small army and the ships needed to transport it to Epirus hoping to forge in him an ally on the Greek mainland. The prospect of retaking Epirus thrilled Pyrrhus, as did the chance to exploit the chaos in nearby Macedon to seize both realms for himself. At long last, the exiled king was returning home. Ooh, that sounds promising. So let's find out. Main objectives. Take control of Epirus either by reducing Neoptolemus to five soldiers or by destroying his four war towers. Ooh. Pirus is limited to the Bronze Age and a population of 100. Taking on Neoptolemus' army is the most direct approach, but by destroying his towers you can keep his army alive for the battles to come and lose resources from the rubble. Ooh. Important. Neoptolemus will initially be slow to react as he does not expect an attack at night. However, if delay the attack until morning, you have more time to explore the potential avenues to atta of attack. You can ally with any of Lysimachus, Antipater, or Alexander V, or wage war on them all. Hmm. However, once you establish an alliance, expect the other two factions to join forces against you. Only when they an alliance if it forters your goals. If you need to destroy an ally tall center to win, you can always break the alliance. Although Demetrius is away on campaign, it is his case will likely soon turn to Macedon. Do not neglect to prepare your eastern flank for the coming conflict. Macedonian siege engines come at a discount. Use these to knock down enemy town centers. Uh, your scouts report. Pyrrhus, one green, has arrived from Egypt and is poised to retake his throne in Epirus. Once the kingdom is back under his control, he must call the squabbling rulers of Macedon. The usurper Neoptolemus still rats to rules in Epirus. He has learned of Pyrrhus' departure from Egypt and has ordered his wars to watch for any approaching ships. To the east of Epirus lies Macedon, which is split between three waging rulers, Alexander V, three, yellow, uh, rules the heartland. He is the weakest of the three, but will provide you with resources if you ally with him. In the south, his brother and rival Antipater IV, blue, is locked in conflict with Alexander's forces. His fleet rules the waves and side with him could open up the sea for their ships to navigate freely. To the north 
Lies the helm of Lizzie Marcus, fire, scion. This confident of Alexander the Great has the most powerful land army of the three. Signing with him would allow you to attack Macedon from two fronts. While he has yet to enter the conflict, the Matthew 6 purple still has a stronghold in the east from which he could launch a full scale invasion of Macedon. Expect him to field an army of cavalry and Iron Age heavy infantry. Okay, so that's very bad because we only have the Bronze Age available for us, so maybe waiting for Demetrius can be a big problem. Yeah. Uh, and the name of the is Life in Greece, and it's very cool because there is the sheet car uh, from Age of Empires 1 as an icon, so that, that looks very cool. So let's go. Ooh. Hunter must have set his guards on high alert. Let us seek out the weakest point in his defense and launch our attack there. Okay, that was bad. <laughs> Probably the need to restart. Your Highness. If we do not land now, we will lose the element of surprise. Make quick work of these guards. Epirus will be ours again before Neoptolemus knows what's hit him. Never fear, men! As long as I remain standing, I will fight right alongside you. Very good. Uh, GG, folks. <laughs> uh, we have catapults over there. Come on. Abedakis. Abedakis has set his guards on high alert. Let us seek out the weakest point in his defense and launch our attack there. Wait, it's not working. Where is lighting? Uh, sorry, guys. Campaign's problems. So, at least now it's... Uh, for most people. At least now it's something that we know that if you restore it, you do not get the cool effect. Rodolphus has set his guards on high alert. Let us seek out the weakest point in his defense and launch our attack there. If I knew that I had a catapult, so I wouldn't do such dumb move, I believe. Yeah, having the catapults right away it wouldn't make much more sense. 
Okay, go there and destroy guys. Epirus be reduced to rubble. I am willing to share the throne with you, Prince, for the good of our people. We have retaken my old kingdom, but this is only the beginning. The time has come to expand our domain into Macedon. Dark tidings, your highness. It appears that your old friend Demetrius plans to take Macedon for himself. His armies will soon arrive from the east. My lord, Macedon is divided among several factions. We could take advantage of these divisions and take them out one by one. Or we could ally with one of them against the other two. Yuri, Rocket 
We have uncovered the plot by Neoptolemus to poison you. Apparently, he plans to take Epirus for himself. If information is coming, then surely he does not inspire much loyalty in his subjects. Let us strike at him first, and give the people of Epirus a proper ruler to look up to. Your prowess in battle is impressive. That match I will give you, Epirus. But this is not the end. The throne of Macedon will yet be mine. Hmm. Wait a minute, there's too many things going on. Alright, so four minutes and eleven four minutes and eleven seconds until Neptolemus betrays me. Yeah. Which one can I ally? Uh, should I ally with uh, who? Alexander? Yeah, I'll try to ally with the yellow. Because maybe I will get less land attacks through him. I would be happy to ally with you, Pyrrhus. My brother Antipater murdered our mother and took the throne for himself. That was my plan. And that fiend just stole it from me. Very well. If you are building an alliance to seize Macedon, I will simply have to do the same. What are your soldiers doing standing around my camp? Oh, 
is no more! I should have dealt with that honorless cur long ago! There's even a monastery, even though he cannot use it. So he got a monastery. There's a Macedonia. Oh, this guy seems to be very weak. 
Probably will be the next guy who is trying. Oh. 
Kaisa. Alamak. Kaisa. Rotor ready. Very good. Very good. Ten minutes, guys. a ward for this land when I return to the east for the next campaign season anyway. I will allow Did I win? Oh yeah, it was 5,000 efforts. Reset lightning. That was so cool. GG folks, very well done. Had the struggle for Macedon been a play, it would have been booed out of the theater for its confusing, overlapping plot lines. Stories, after all, should be simple, straightforward, and with an entertaining hero to cheer for. All of the things that real politics lack. At the end of the war, Pyrrhus came to blows with his old master Demetrius. Each led their forces against the other, and, in what must have been an act of divine mischief, the two armies marched right past each other. As Demetrius raided across Epirus, a second army, commanded by his finest general, Pantacus, met Pyrrhus in battle. Pantacus challenged the Epirot king to a duel, and Pyrrhus accepted. With thousands of men watching and cheering for their leaders, the two commanders fought man against man. Swords clashed, shields buckled, and for a short while, the brutality of the war was distilled into the shapes of those men. Those two kingdoms personified. Pantaucus managed a single strike on Pyrrhus. But not long after, Pyrrhus wounded his opponent in the thigh and neck. Pantaucus was forced to retreat, and Pyrrhus claimed victory. His boldness earned him the nickname the Eagle. But his triumph proved hollow when the war ended in a stalemate. For all his efforts, Pyrrhus returned to Epirus empty-handed. Whoa. This guy's Epirus is pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's also full Macedonian and Greek scenario, so very amazing. Ooh. We got an amazing military. And also 200 kills, not bad. Wood, stone, food, gold. Very well. GG, folks. Yeah. Kind of plenty of technology as well, which is very good. Village are high. Very good economy. Yep. Very good. Let's return to the map. Ooh, amazing. So he had some damage sheeps over here. That's cool. Yeah, leaving him to dominate the sea probably was the best thing that I could have done. And then I, I thought that I had to defeat him, but just going forward with my cavalry, smashing him was enough. Maybe I should have attempted to do it uh, a while back. That was so amazing. GG, very good. Yeah, and this guy, it was very, very smart for me to strike him as soon as I could. Getting my ally while he was still my ally. 
really great. And then going back to him, betraying him, very epic move. And then soon after, the ending with Betray Yellow, that was so cool. Excellent scenario, GG, very well done. Very happy of playing it. And please, if you like my content, please like and subscribe. And I see you next time with more of um, Pihus of Epirus. GG.